Then there's the law of closure. When shapes aren't closed, we tend to add missing elements to complete the image. Because although it's not complete, if there is enough that is presented for the eye to complete the shape, that's what we're going to do. How we perceive things is what causes the closure, how our mind interprets the information. So, what is this up here? A circle. Right? Pretty much everyone that, that I ask will look at that and say, yeah, this is a circle. Well, but look. It has all these all this white space. Is it still a circle? Well, we perceive it as a circle, but if we break it down into the components, what is it? It's a bunch of curved lines. It just so happens the way we put those curved lines forms a circle. But that's how we interpret it. People don't think of it as a bunch of lines. You see the whole. What about this one down here? What do you see? Two triangles and three circles. Does so anyone see anything different? Pac-Man. I always get the Pac-Man answer. And then I ask, I, I, can't, I don't, didn't see who said it was a Pac-Man. How, how much video games do you play with Pac-Man? I think I'm going to do a study to see, depending on how, you know, if you've just played Pac-Man, do you see the Pac-Man or do you see the triangles or the circles? All right, so actually, again, if we look at this, we see essentially what's a Pac-Man and three angles. But that's not how we interpret it. Again, we have a tendency to interpret it, unless you've been playing lots of video games, two triangles and three circles. We tend to complete or close those forms. Let's look at some more examples. What's that? Panda bear. How do you know it's a panda bear? Not a bunch of blobs. <laughs> Okay, I, I can't laugh because I didn't hear. You've seen a panda. And what we're doing is we are closing things. So what is this over here? Okay, some people said it's the back. Some people said it's the side. Either one, I'll, I'll accept both. Oh, oops. What is this? What's this up here? I'm hoping someone said it's the top of their head. All right, so how long did it take you to figure out that was a panda? Nothing. Nothing. Split second. A nanosecond. Well, you've seen it before. Okay, you've seen it before. But still, for the first time you saw it, did you, uh, if you knew what a panda was, did you have to think about what is that? Yeah, probably not. All right, let's look at another example. Here we have a nice jar of what? Honey. What does it say on the jar? It says honey. Do you see anything else? There's, okay, there's also a B. It just so happens the E and B are the same. But boy, we're really quick at picking up that, aren't we? So they really created a very nice design element that takes advantage of the law of closure. Yes. And in that case, would the E also be uh, continuity or not because it's different from the rest of the world? It actually would also be continuity, yes. Because we tend to, that's why I say continuity and closure very often are so closely linked. Um, most of the time, they are going to be together. Not all the time but they do tend to be closely linked. Can you guys see this? What do you see? Two letters. How do you know it's two letters? Okay, so you see this one up here, and then you kind of see one peeking out, right? All right, how do you know that my five-year-old didn't come and rip the letter in half and stick the top, top uh, behind this one? 
Yeah, you don't. But that's not how we interpret it. What we literally see is just the top of a letter. But again, we interpret this as being two letters on top of each other. And this, of course, is taken from a digital interface. 